Oh well, yeah, man. Like, it's not. It's it's. It'd be fucking weird. Like, I, that's how I got my start, right? Like, I got my start because because Nate put me on auto host back when auto host was like super dope, like super dank. Before they fucked auto host up completely, they've actually butchered auto host to like a level that it's completely worthless. You have to raid someone manually, or it's completely garbage. That feature's totally broken. For anybody who streams, never host anybody. Always raid. Auto host is garbage and shouldn't be used. Completely a piece of deprecated tech, actually. Auto hosting uh, fails like mar like the majority of the time. Um, what's actually the difference? Okay, here I'll tell you. So raiding takes the people who accept the raid and actually puts them in the other person's stream. Hosting just changes the player. Everything else is actually still the streamer that you were watching stream. So my tip panel, my dono panel, or my sub panel, uh, you know, subscribe to me and my chat. So you could, the, the theory, if I'm hosting something, is that if we have like a thousand viewers normally, we could watch like GSL together and chat in my chat kind of deal. You know what I mean? That's the deal with hosting. Except hosting fails a lot. Like it's actually just doesn't work. Viewers don't transfer. Um, it cancels all, like very rapidly, and the viewership just drops off like really, really fast. Like faster than it's possible for everyone to have bailed out. And really, it's just like an extra click. So when you think about like internet stuff, remember people are fucking lazy. Like me included. I'm not. We're all like, we all like to be a little lazy, you know, it's just the reason that the cell phone to like the touch the input took off, like scrolling up and down is easier than grabbing an actual wheel, you know, and just scrolling that way. We all, we always like to make things easier for ourselves. Like we are a product of that, and there's really nothing you can do to prevent that. So the fact that everyone has to click one more time to join somebody's chat is a huge barrier to entry. Right? There's a, um, there was a UX stat when I was taking UX in like a user interfaces class. When I was taking that, there's a UX stat. If you don't load your content within two seconds, some ungodly percentage of people will actually click out of the website. Like, it was like 40, 50%. So like, if for whatever reason, your content doesn't load in that time, <laughs> fucking ET going on, dude. So, you can imagine that, like, adding one click to get somebody to go to somebody else's channel is going to be the same kind of barrier. Like, people aren't going to want to do it. They're going to just click away. I'm being conservative because I don't remember the stat, so I'm trying to, like, not overshoot. But, like, yeah, I think I remember it being, like, 60% or some crazy shit like that. Site performance is so important on web development, even though no one ever adheres to that generally. At least I don't fuck web development. It's only efficient if it's inefficient. But like, that's why I have such a huge problem with ads. Like anybody who's ever studied UX, like, knows that. Human psychology dictates that if you run an ad, like, 60% of people are gonna fucking click the X. Oh, dude. Just knowing that stat makes me- makes a stomach turn when I know that people get pre-rolls pre and they watch my stream, like, I hate it. The only saving grace there is that it's still content and it's, like, loaded still. So, like, you don't kind of get the same effect, but it is the same kind of deal. Wait, five, not on Twitch. You can't wait five seconds and click skip, click skip, dude. I still get 30 second ads when I load up streams. And the bigger streamers are all using that shit that uh, rolls past uh, ad block by injecting into frame. Like a bunch of idiots, dude. Ah, uh, not idiots, sorry. A bunch of greedy shits. I say that endearingly. A lot of sellouts. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, man. If I could make, if I could remove pre-rolls, I fucking hundred percent would. I'd pay, f I'd pay whatever I make in ads to get rid of pre-rolls. 
I would get them to deduct that from my salary so you guys would never watch pre-rolls. But unfortunately, I have this really sneaking suspicion that Twitch makes way more on our ads than we do. And that's why... That's why they won't do it. I think that they take the majority of the cut on like a huge margin and they just don't say it. Because I make like literally $40 a month from ads. It'd be so easy for me to buy myself out so I could not roll pre-rolls. You know what I mean? So like if it's really like $200, right? And that's for me. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, that's my that's my point. Like Something tells me that they're just making way more money than they let on from ads than we are. Because otherwise, like, it wouldn't be worth it. You know? To not let us get out of it. And that if they told streamers, like, how much they actually made, they'd be really pissed that <laughs> they're not making a cut of that. Yeah, I mean, ad frequency, inability to skip ads, like, there's all sorts of problems with ads, but really, it's like, I'm making you waste your time watching some shit I don't even support, man. Like, that's my problem with it. Like, Twitch has kind of thrived on the fact that ads suck. You know what I mean? Like, on Twitch, ads are so garbage. For like monetary reasons like things like subscriptions are huge and so are bits you know tips that's why you know now that there's a fucking pandemic twitch streamers aren't sweating as much because even though cpm has dropped through the floor like they have for youtubers twitch streamers are safer because we were already being supported by our communities and not actually by by youtube's system Right? So in a situation that's kind of dire like this, it's way better to be a fucking Twitch streamer. Nice. Than it is to be a YouTuber. Thanks, Popcorn Rage. Appreciate the government money, buddy. Oh, are you talking about Raid Shadow Legends or whatever the fuck that is? Fucking should have known he had way more. I've been building SCVs, so we will get another chance.
The irony of him defending a fucking Dark Shrine with Dark Templar. Yeah, I just need to stop him from mining way more than me. This spot's pretty busted for that, honestly. Pay to win sucks, dude. But everyone knows that. Like, pay to win is actually a model that's slowly. I've seen way less of it. Like, you guys notice that? At least in the mainstream releases. The pay to win model is like super fucking dead. A recall, dude. It's your only hope to win. It's all about whale farming. I mean, you know what's fun though? I, I mean, it's one of my favorite things. Like, if I've learned anything from like streaming for a long time, it's exactly what I said earlier. Like, these kinds of novel ways to to make a quick buck, they never work for a long time. They only work in the short term until everyone catches on. I think the beginning of the end was actually uh, our Lord and Savior EA. You guys remember the Star Wars drama? I think that was where it finally reached like reached ahead. They tried too hard to sell out, like, to a disgusting, absolutely, like, just super abusive level that was only, that you couldn't, you actually could not describe a travesty worse than what they were trying to fucking pull off with that absolute, like, buffoonery, right? It's something you tell your kids about, like... You take a you take a game that has a fan base that's so big like that, where you know people will fucking pay for anything because they just love the franchise so much, and they just fucking try to take the community for everything it's worth. And people and people almost like were willing to take the bait, but it was too much. Like the amount of gouging going on was just disgusting. Like epic proportions of disgusting. That was when I noticed it, like, really started to slow down. It was after that bullshit. I mean, I'm just spamming bio, so... If we're gonna complain, let's do it right. He has High Templars, too. Yeah, in the PC, oh yeah, and I think in the in the main consoles it's really really fucking dead, to be honest. Triple A Triple A titles have moved away from it. I get the thing to kill.
I'm putting that on YouTube. That was fucked. Can you believe that? Fuck. That micro at the end was great. Oh, feels good to win that.